Once there was a king who had three clever and ambitious sons. They were just like him. But as he was growing old, he became afraid that one of them would take his kingdom from him. So he devised a plan. He would send them on a quest, one that he hoped they would not complete. Sons, I would like you to find the Mask of Truth. Now, the Mask of Truth had been lost for centuries, but I would like you to find it, and the one who comes back with the Mask of Truth, well, he, on that very day, I will give my kingdom. They all set off. Now, the two older brothers, well, they had many adventures, but it's not them I want to talk about today. It's the youngest son. You see, not only was he clever and ambitious, he also had a kind and generous heart. No sooner did he leave the castle than he came across an old woman who said to him, Young man, could you help me cross this river? It is too swift for me. Most certainly I will help you. And without hesitation, he picked her up and carried her across gently. Then he set her down. Ah, she said, thank you for your generosity and kindness to me today. It was nothing at all. And then she said, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. I want you to remember it and me and this lovely river. And then she clapped her hands and she disappeared. He was startled and surprised, but there was nothing he could do, so he carried on. And for many years he traveled and had adventures similar to his brothers. But then he came to a forest, and there was this magic castle and this huge ogre. And the ogre said to him, Are you here to seek the mask of truth? Yes, he said. Do you know where it is? It is in the castle, but you must answer a riddle in order to have it. If you fail with this riddle, however, you forfeit with your life. <sighs> I am not afraid. I will ask and try to solve this riddle because my father wants the mask of truth. So tell me, what has a mouth but does not talk? What has is running but does not walk? What has a head but does not weep? And what has a bed but does not sleep? <gasps> The old young man, he didn't know. He, what, want, run and, and not walk? And, and, and he was confused. But at that very moment, he remembered what the old woman had said to him about the river. Wait a minute, a river has a mouth. It runs, it has a bed, but it doesn't walk. A river, he said. And at that moment, the castle disappeared and the ogre disappeared. And in his hand was a black and white mask. He put it on and he saw the truth of things. That truth is black and white because it is absolute. He understood that his father had lied to him, but because he was afraid and because of his compassion, he understood. He saw that his brothers had gone home after having many adventures because they gave up on looking for truth. And a lot of us do. And then he realized his father was dying. He rushed home. And when he got to his father's bed, he gave him the mask of truth. And his father put on the mask of truth. And he saw that his son understood that he had lied to him. He saw the truth of things. And he wasn't afraid to die because he saw what death really was. And then he took off the mask and he said to his sons, I love you all. But my youngest son here, your youngest brother, well, he found the mask of truth and he should rule because he will rule with both truth and generosity. And so saying, he passed away. Now, the young man, well, he lived and for many years ruling with truth and kindness. But when he died, well, the mask of truth disappeared once again. And unfortunately for us, that is why, to this day, truth is so hard to find.